Hey, my name is Phil and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a product named Integrately. And in this Integrately review, I'm gonna be showing you how Integrately works, what it actually does, and why I absolutely love this tool. Now, if you don't know exactly what Integrately is all about, basically what it does is it connects two different tools on the internet that don't normally talk to each other and it allows them to communicate. A clear example of this is if you had a lead generation software and you wanted to say connect it to either Google Sheets or email autoresponder software, maybe those two tools don't natively talk. Luckily, Integrately can actually connect these two tools together and allow them to communicate, right? So if you've ever come across this issue in uh, the past on the internet, you'll know it's such a big headache. Luckily, Integrately is here now to help you out. Now, just to let you know, there is actually a free membership with Integrately. And if you want to help support the channel, make sure you use the link in the description. I'll be very thankful for your support. So what I'm actually going to do right now is instead of talking more about it, I'm going to jump behind the screen and show you exactly how Integrately works. Okay, first of all, we're going to start on the Integrately homepage. I just wanted to show you some of the apps that it's currently integrated with. I'm actually in their Facebook group right now, and they've just hit the 300 different app mark. So there's 300 different tools online that can actually be connected with each other. So that is a very powerful thing. But as you can see, there are so many different tools right now that can actually be integrated with Integrately. And also, just to let you know, if there is one that isn't currently integrated or listed on this section, you can actually request for it to be um, added, which I'll show you in a second. Now, just before I actually get into it, I also just want to show you one more thing, which is the pricing. Now, the biggest competitor um, that sort of uh, Integrately is going up against is Zapier. Now Zapier is like the king of the jungle. Um, just to show you sort of how much value you get inside of Integrately versus Zapier. For uh, the free version in Zapier, you can get 100 tasks per month and you're not allowed premium apps. Um, inside of Integrately, you're actually allowed all of the apps that are available and you can get 200 tasks. A very common one that people try to get is the Facebook lead ad. In Zapier, that's actually a premium feature, so you're gonna instantly have to go up to this level. However, in Integrately, you can do it for free. So just to let you know. And then once you step up to the next level, $15 a month will get you 14,000 tasks in Integrately. However, you'll only get 750 inside Zapier. So you can see there is a massive difference in pricing. Okay, so moving forward, let's actually log in and see how it works. So when you first log into Integrately, this is the um, page you're gonna see. Obviously, my trial has expired. Before they had a free version, I was on the trial. Um, but basically what happens here is you've got two sections here, which is select app one and select app two, and this is the apps that you wanna connect with each other. So for example, if you wanted to have, say, a Facebook lead ad, which I mentioned before, um, you can click on the Facebook lead ad. The second app, let's just say we wanna send it to Gmail, so you automatically send a email once one person gets a lead ad and then you, once these two are added here you can see if we go down here is all the variations we can actually get that this this tool can actually do the most common being this one here when a lead is received in Facebook ads send email via Gmail so basically you click on it it's gonna go ahead and cook up this little recipe so to speak it takes about five seconds then you click on check it now and then you can start adding in your connections. Now, this particular uh, account hasn't got anything integrated, um, but I will show you how it works. So I actually checked and this account does have a few integrations, but I'll walk you through the process anyway. First thing you wanna do is click on add connections. Just make sure you're logged in currently with Facebook as it's going to need uh, approval. So you type in your password like so, click on continue. And now it's going to ask if you, um, it looks like I'm previously integrated, so that's fine. But it might ask you for a few things like which Facebook pages you want to allow access to. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as is and click on continue. So now uh, Integrately is actually given access to uh, Facebook's given access to Integrately. Now we can actually move forward. Um, so these are actually three tests I've previously done today. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put in a new one here. So I'll put YouTube test um, four, so it's fourth one, and then click on the tick, all right? Just so I know which one it is and click on continue. Now usually inside there you would put the type of lead form that you wanna add, um, but that doesn't matter. So as you can see here, here is the page I've given permission to actually get from, um, like so. And here's the form I've created. If you don't know how to create a Facebook lead form, don't worry about it. It's mainly for like people doing like Facebook advertising. There is loads of tutorials on the internet how to do it, but here is the lead ad I've created. 
and that's basically good to go so the next step is to actually connect the gmail connection so i'm just going to click on add connection once again make sure you're actually logged into gmail if you're going to use this um, so i'll just use this particular one okay uh, send email on my behalf yes allow and i'm going to click on allow once again now I think pretty much this is done. You may have to put in a few fields. Yep, that's the, the case. So from name, you wanna have the, um, I'm just gonna call this from my business, Intact Media. Two, the two can be whoever your client's name is. So for example, um, if say for uh, Phil Wilson was my client, it could be to it's philwilson at gmail.com, right? Or whatever email you want, you can CC, BC people in. And subject could be you have a new lead okay something like that and then the body is where you would actually fill things out so you'd be like hey you have a new lead in your lead form ad make sure you follow up with them and then you could put like um, full name you could put full name is uh, email address is phone number is oh, right things like this click it in add it in full name email address click that in it's got no data now because i haven't actually given it a test just yet but basically whatever the campaign sort of details you're asking for that you put in there you get you can just put it in here and then just be like make sure you follow up within 24 hours um phil Basically, that's what it is. Now, this particular lead ad sort of strategy was from another course I've done called Movement Mastery. I've done a whole review on it. Basically, it's talking about this sort of thing. But what you want to do now is go test and go live. So I'm going to click on that. Now, it should send me an email in a few moments, but basically, it's ready to go, right? So that's how easy it is to actually integrate them. If I go to my automations, I just got the, I just got the email now. I wonder if it's showing up here. I just realized I don't have access to the email on this computer, but as you can see, the email has come through just like it says. I don't know if you can see it, but exactly how it is. So now every time someone actually fills out that lead form, I'm going to get the contact details that they fill in. And what you can do is you forward to your client and then your client gets the thing. It's perfect for Facebook ads. Now here's another example of one I just did earlier when, when a form is added in Lindingi create contact in Moosend. These are uh, integration I've been annoyed about for so long that they haven't done, um, but now I can actually do it. And the good thing about it is it refreshes every 15 minutes, so it might not be instant if you put in your name into the form. However, it's free and you can get the integration in 15 minutes, so it's not like a do or die type thing. Um, people just have to wait 15 minutes. So just to give you an idea of the, um, oh, and here's the request integration thing as well. If you find something that you're not, uh, you're not finding inside of there, one of the apps, you can just click on this button and it's going to ask you to fill out the form to send some information. Now, just to show you some other one click integrations, which are actually an easier way of connecting things. Um, if you scroll down here, you can see all of the different types of, uh, software that you can actually connect, right? So you've got things like, uh, there's a, software called autopilot and there's another software called twilio which is like a calling sort of service when a contact is created in autopilot make a call of twilio things like that it's like a very powerful thing it's almost like google home in a sense but basically there's so many different connections that you can do inside of integrately and i can't believe it it's so much power for free so that's basically all I wanted to show you on Integrately. It makes two things talk. It's also very good if you have, say, information. Um, if someone fills out a form, you want it to go into a Google Sheet, you can do the same sort of thing inside of here as well. I'll see if I can find the Google Sheets integration. I'll just show you a few here while I'm still here. So like when a contact is created in Moosend, create a row in Google Sheets. So it's going to actually create spreadsheets for you as well. The good thing is, too, you can actually add integrations on top of integrations um, to give you a quick example of that. You can um, choose two things. So let's just say I was going to do Facebook lead ads. Let's just say I wanted to do the Gmail again. Let's just say I wanted to do another one, which was actually add it to Google Sheets, right? Now it's actually going to be able to add the lead into a sheet as well if I wanted to have an ongoing sheet form. Think about it like that. There's so much automations you can actually create with Integrately. So what I'm going to do right now, jump behind the camera one more time and just explain a few other things.
Okay, so that was Integrately. As you can see, it is such a powerful tool. I'm not sure if it was the best demonstration because there is literally infinite things that you can create using Integrately. However, you would have seen how easy it is to connect things. It does take a little bit of setting up, but once you've actually integrated them once on your, uh, on your platform, you're able to then integrate things much easier in future. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this Integrately review. If you haven't yet, make sure you use the link in the description and grab yourself a free membership. Uh, there is loads of stuff inside of there. No doubt there is something inside that's going to help your current workflow. But apart from that, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see all the new videos coming out. There is also a load of bonuses in the description if you want to grab some as well. So go ahead and check it out. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it once again. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.